So this is NAD or nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. And this is a real anti-aging molecule. It is helping your DNA stay healthy. It is involved in energy production in the mitochondria. So it helps in the electron transport chain to really make you produce more ATP. So it helps with cellular health, cellular function, makes you younger, makes you live longer and uh, prevents aging to some extent, of course. Now, uh, we use this either subcutaneous intramuscular or we can give it intravenously. Uh, and this way you get it actually in. And if you take this orally, it's a huge molecule. It doesn't really get absorbed very well. So it won't really end up where you need it in your cells. Now, there are precursors and you can buy supplements. Two of them that are pretty known are nicotinamide riboside, which is NR, and nicotinamide mononucleotide or NMN. The way this usually works is NR is slightly smaller than NMN and NR gets converted to NMN, which then gets converted to NAD plus in your cells. Um, how much of it gets converted from a tablet that you're taking is hard to tell. It's always, of course, less than if you give this by injection, because here you bypass the digestive tract, you have full absorption, either subcutaneous, intramuscular or intravenous. When you take a supplement, you know, there could be a uh, 15, 20% or so oral bioavailability, and then how much of it ends up in your cells, that's always the question to be determined. But again, it's something that people can do every two, two weeks to uh, one month, you know, give an injection or get uh, an IV. Uh, the supplement is available. I know that the NMN might not be at the moment, but NR certainly is available, and that's something that you can also take.